So here we go again. Nintendo fans are complaining about Metroid Dread. You would think they'll be excited for it because, you know, they have been the ones pushing for all the weeks for Metroid 5, you know, saying that it's a real game, and now we finally have it, and they're still complaining about how the graphics look like a DS game. The funny thing is, this game was meant to be released for the DS. Yep, be it, most of these people who are complaining about 410 do not know the history of Metroid Dread, do not know the history of the game. This game was originally meant to be a DS game. I think the reason why the complaints is because they're charging this game for $60 and the graphics don't look next gen. If the game is good, then why would the graphics matter? It's different. Metroid, let's just compare Metroid Dread to another similarly dreadful for game. Pun was attended. Did. But, yeah, the pun was actually attended. But we got the game's called Metroid Dread. So Unsealed. So Unsealed had, sim had really awful looking graphics. I know Poketards will try to tell you that Pokemon Sword and Sealed had the most amazingest graphics in Pokemon, but it will compare it to any other like big game that we on the Nintendo Switch, it's laughable to see the badness and horrendous of the Sword and Sealed graphics here. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, the these are the same people who are crying about the Switch OLED because it isn't a Switch Pro, and now they're crying over Metroid Dread because it doesn't look like a complete, uh, Super HD PS5 looking game. So yep, that's basically about this week. Goodbye.